not expect Lane Kiffin to be joining us, frankly, as a guest, giving his first interview since being let go at USC. I mean, two weeks ago, Lane, you're the coach of the Trojans. These are all my fans. Yeah, they're, they're welcoming you back. You got the purple tie. Your friend is Steve Sarkeesian. You've been hanging out this week. But it had to feel a little surreal. You've not talked to anybody about the circumstances after the loss to Arizona State and Tempe, the plane ride to the bus ride. Just just take us through that. When, you, when Pat Hayden told you it's over. Yeah, obviously, Chris, it was very difficult. Um, I have great passion for USC, for those players, for those coaches. And um, it was a difficult situation, though, because you put so much into those kids. And um, to have that taken away is it, very hard. It's been a very hard two weeks. I mean, it's an unusual circumstance. Whatever was going on, to be pulled off of the bus with your bags on it and, and told it's over. Had you had conversations with Hayden or anybody at USC on where you stood before that meeting, before that game? Had they told you where, where, you, where they stood? Well, Pat and I would meet all the time. Um, Pat is a very hands-on athletic director, a great athletic director, and so uh, we were involved throughout this whole process of over three years of going through everything we were going through and um, making strides in different areas, but Pat has a very hard job, and I understand athletic director's job being around this sport for so long. Even though he may see what's going on on the inside and how hard it was to deal with the sanctions and a reduced roster, at the same time, he has a lot of people to answer to. So um, I appreciate Pat's support for our three and a half, four years there. It was phenomenal, and they're going to continue to do great things. Look, a lot's been said about the four and seven record in your last 11 games. How would you assess how well you did your job at USC the last couple of years? I think it's a very fair question, Chris. Um, I think there were some really good things that we did in our time there. Um, once we got there, we were handed down what a lot of people considered to be the death penalty and SC football be over for 10 years. I remember all the articles at the time. We were able to manage through that and, and have a great year at 10 and 2. Um, and then it fell apart there towards the end. And uh, obviously, I'm to blame being the head coach. There's a lot of things I should have done better in that. But at the same time, I'm very proud of our time there. Uh, I think as you look what sanctions do to major programs like in Alabama, to be 28 and 15, is there's some good stuff in there. And there's some great kids that, that, that are still playing really hard. And to see the way they played the other night was awesome. I was so proud of those kids and that coaching staff. And for Coach O to get that win like that, it was really cool to see. So you said you're caught off guard. It has to be surreal Thursday night at Orange Run, interim head coach, playing Arizona, and you're watching with Sarkeesian. I mean, describe that experience. Yeah, it, it was very difficult, Chris. Um, it was like watching someone else raise your kids because you love those kids, and you go through so much work with those kids. But at the same time, I know they're in great hands. That is a great staff there. Ed's going to do a great job with them. And then in the long term, for Pat to be there for those kids, they're in great hands at a great university. So that makes you happy, too. Many of us have been fired from various jobs. What have you learned from this experience that you can apply down the line? Well, I, I think any experience you have, there's the good parts of it and the bad parts, and you've got to learn from the bad parts and the mistakes that you made. And I, I've made a bunch of them, and so you learn from those at a young age still, and then you grow from there, and, and you get stronger in your next job. You are still 38. You'd like to do what? You've mentioned in the past maybe coaching at a small school, even high school. Is that a, is that a serious wish to take it to a, a lower level and get back to coaching? I wasn't really serious when I said that. <laughs> I was kind of joking. Um, no, uh, obviously I love coaching. It's what I've done my whole life. This is very unusual these last two weeks for me. Um, I will say this. There's not very much stress in this right here. <laughs> they were wishing me luck before I came up. No, I said, this is nothing. But ha have, you, have you examined, Lane, why drama and turmoil is often around you at various jobs. Have you looked inward to see what, why that might be? Sure. I think you're always trying to figure yourself out and figure out mistakes that you've made. And so um, different things that I've done that I wouldn't do again, um, you know, have followed me. And that's the price that you pay when you make mistakes early on.